What's going on? It's KC from KC-Sounds.com. Today's video, I want to talk to you about the difference between lease and exclusive beats. So if you're a producer, beat maker, and you're putting your music, your beats online, and you're a bit confused of whether you should send them, you should lease them, or you should sell them as exclusives, or if you're a music artist and you go into someone's website to buy some beats and you see you see the options of lease and exclusive and you, you just haven't got a clue or you don't know what it is, then this video will definitely help you. First of all, you've got lease beats. Lease beats means that the producer can resell the beat. So if a music artist buys a beat, the producer can carry on selling it. It doesn't have to come off the website. Every producer is different. So with their leases and their contract will be different stipulations of what can be done with the beat and how many units can be sold. So an artist might lease a beat and can only sell 3,000 units. And then once they've done that, they need to renew their lease. Every beat maker and producer have got different um, different amounts of units that can be sold. So it's definitely worth checking the agreement and just getting an understanding of what you can and can't do with the beats. Exclusive beats means once it's sold, it's sold. So that exclusive beat, it might it could have been leased a few times, but if someone goes into my website and it's buys an exclusive beat that's already been used, then that beat will come off the website. And I'm sure that's the same with other producers and beat makers on their website which means they can't resell it. That means that beat belongs to the artist that's bought it exclusively. With exclusive, that means they can normally have like an unlimited amounts of sales. So they have, there's no cap on how many units they can sell. You put it on film, TV, or whatever they want to do with it, depending on what's inside the agreement though. You need to make sure that you read the agreements and everyone is up to speed on what they've agreed on. In my contracts for exclusive, the artist has to contact me and we need to discuss royalties because if they're buying an exclusive then it's a serious artist and they are looking to get it out there maybe put it on Spotify and iTunes and start to, to make some royalties off, the, off that beat, off the song. So it's only right that the, the producer gets some royalties. So make sure as a producer, beat maker, make sure that you put all of this in your agreement. You've got PRS number, drop that in your agreement, your email so they can get in contact with you. So yeah, that's the difference between lease and exclusive. Lease means that it can be resold by the producer and other artists will use it. And exclusive means it's a one-off payment that's been made for the beat and it can, can't be sold no more. So if you're doing things a bit different as a beat maker or producer, drop, it, drop a comment below, let me see what you're doing or let others see what you're doing. Make sure you hit me up on Instagram. I'm always posting different things behind the scenes, in my IG stories or little tips and tricks that I don't put on YouTube. If you liked the video, if it's helped at all, hit the like and subscribe button. I appreciate all of that. As per usual, I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Music is life. Peace.